Hello everybody, in this Rhino video demo, I would like to show how we can use a free third party program called Quixel Mixer to create realistic textures and materials for our Rhino model. Okay, let's start. Let's use the model on screen for our illustration purpose. First thing I need to do is to give the model a base material type. So if we selected, I go to the property windows, material tab, and click the plus sign to add a new material type. For our case here, we're going to use a physically based material. Okay. The next thing we need to do is to create the texture mapping parameters and properties. Okay. And to do that, with the object selected, click on the texture mapping tab of the property windows and then decide on the most appropriate texture mapping coordinate system for our model. Okay, we have uh, options such as the unwrap, which uses the traditional UV unwrap method of texturing. We have things like uh, surface mapping, planar mapping, box mapping, spherical, cylindrical, and so on and so forth. Okay, for our scenario, I think the most appropriate is the planar mapping. So I could click on it, and then in the front view, let's create first corner of the plane, the other corner. Okay, press it. To see the mapping widget, you can click on the show mapping and you can see yeah, this is the mapping widget. Okay. The next thing that I need to do is to create a UV layout for our model. This is because Crystal Mixer, which is the third party program that we're going to use, uh, will require UV mapping information in order for it to be able to create the textures accurately in the correct um, coordinate system okay so to do that select this model again click on the UV editor okay and then Rhino will prompt you to create a rectangle okay so I in the top view I'm going to select the first corner rectangle the second corner to be here okay and you can see within the rectangle the UV map has been displayed. Okay, the UV map is created based on the texture mapping mode that I have assigned, which is planar mapping in our case here. Okay, so you can see it's a map according to the uh, mapping widgets. Um, setting okay so once that is done we can proceed to export our model as a file format that can be used by crystal mixer okay namely formats such as obj okay, i think before we do that what i'm going to do is let's check to see whether the normals are flipped correctly or not okay to do that select object click on this icon here Okay, or type dir at the command prompt. Okay, you can see now that the arrows have been displayed to show you the direction of the normals, which unfortunately are all facing inwards. So we need to set them to face outward. To do that, click the flip ball. Okay, now you can see that they are facing outwards and press enter. Okay, now we can proceed to export our. Uh, model as an OBJ okay uh, before that let me just uh, click the apply at the UV editor to fix the UV system okay and okay the UV widget still being shown so what I'm going to do is select it okay and then click on this height mapping to hide it okay Let's export the OBJ, okay? Now, okay, so with the object selected, go to File, 
export selected and then select obj okay i'm going to give it a name called demo okay and click save make sure you are saving as a polygon mesh object okay the rest of setting we can give it as default click okay now let's head over to crystal pixel Okay, so this is how it looks like and if you want to download it you can click the link that's below this video to go to its download site okay and i hope that it remains uh free indefinitely because it's a very useful and powerful tool okay now let's click on new mix and let's decide on the working resolution okay i think i will use this uh resolution for our texture output okay and with the setup tab selected let's click on the type and go to custom model to load our exported obj which is this okay then obj we open and wait for the model to be imported in it might take a while okay see it The next thing to do is to apply materials okay which is quite easy actually i mean the the basic application of it okay so let's go to the local library and i think i want to use metal just like metal and i want to use a mixture of two looks maybe this plus this okay so let me add this first okay so this is the look i want some part of it to have this uh, metallic portion but i also want uh, the other regions to have the rusted look so what i could do is go to the local library again and i want to add this rusted metal okay now let's head over to the layer you can see that we have actually two of the materials stacked in the layer okay now let's try to blend these two into a result that i will want okay so let's have this selected okay. this selected and let's try uh from above uh, you can see when I click from above right um, this is the way that the two uh, material has blended okay we can play with the opacity to control the 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 blending okay so maybe you can play with the threshold decide on the on mount you can also play with stuff like the radius okay so maybe something like that okay there are a lot of other parameters you can play with for example in this layer alone if you click on the various um, um, tab okay you can play with all the various material various settings to tweak your your material but i'm not going to do that because there are just uh, too many of these things to play with and to be honest with you i'm pretty new to this program as well okay so assuming that i'm happy with this setup okay let's go to the export tab okay and decide what are the stuff to be exported so i will want to export these maps okay i don't think i need the displacement map okay maybe the Al albedo the roughness the normal i don't know whether i need to use a or not but just i'm going to export it just in case and the methodness okay so with the option selected i go to file do a quick export okay Let me set the 
resolution just in case okay okay so go to file click export okay and head over back to Rhino and now let's assign the textures onto our base material so select the object go to the material tab and you notice that because we are using a physically based uh, material some of the maps are uh, roughly correspond to to the different uh, channels okay so for base color let's click on this and click on the assign texture and let's use the albedo okay let's switch these to the rendered okay okay so yeah you can see that the the, the, the base color has come in okay and let's assign the other stuff okay because we're using a metallic pbr let's click on metallic and scroll down your computer might lag a bit as mine is lagging now okay because uh, this uh, kind of work will actually requires a fair bit of uh, com computational power from your computer so let's like this again and for the metallic channel let's click to assign the metalness uh, texture roughness for the roughness texture okay you can see yep the material is uh, more realistic now okay um let's add some other settings so you can click on detail setting because i have also exported the normal let's add a new channel okay the normal channel and then click on this and put in the normal map okay after some minor tweaks i have arrived at this result and with that i come to the end of this demonstration hope that's been useful to you see you bye